some really quick check-in videos, sort of life updates and such. Um, one, thank you guys so much for all the love and support on Chicken Fingers and Lipo. Oh my god, it's like... Uh, it's like overwhelming how amazing it's doing. We were on the charts for like three days in a row, which is like a record for me. Usually I'm on for a day and then I fall off, which I think even for a day I'm like really, really happy and grateful. But it is doing so well. Thank you guys so much. As I always say, I literally can't do any of this without you. I am a completely self-funded, self-produced, everything like that. I have no label behind me. Everything, marketing, everything falls on my shoulders. Marketing costs sound everything falls on me so uh it's a lot of pressure but you guys supporting me helps the machine going the machine being me um and like i always say i'm not <laughs> getting rich off my music i generally love it it's very it's very much a passion and i'm and it, i would find a way to make it happen even if i wasn't getting supported, but because of your the support, I'm able to make it on such a big, grander scale. And uh, I really thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. It's still out on iTunes. Obviously, it's not going. So it, all your support always helps. And um, I thank you. A lot of you guys ask about Spotify and Apple Music and a bunch of streaming stuff. And that comes out in a few months. Usually, it's like a few months behind. I don't really know if I have control over that. I always just say, send it out to all the markets that you know have a music service provider. And um, that's what happens. And it ends up being a couple months later. So. It'll be out on that, but just months from now. So, like I said, if you buy it on iTunes, I'd really appreciate it. But like I said, I have a music video too coming out in a couple weeks. Uh, actually, like oh my god, less than a week. Ooh, my live performance and my music video. Holy cow, there's so much happening. Um, so the music video will be coming out May 9th. It's premiering at my birthday party slash my first uh, live performance on May 8th, but it'll premiere on my channel here May 9th. So obviously, just supporting that too. If you guys don't want to buy it on iTunes, but just watching my music, it also helps and support. And also just your guys' comments and stuff, saying how much you like love it means more than me than you'll ever know. This is a very personal album. Uh, so that's the first update and thank you. Uh, second update and thank you is to Perez Hilton. I actually just did an interview with him today. Uh, we filmed it all. We filmed it on, well, I have a vlog coming on my second channel, youtube.com slash Trisha's Life, which actually was kind of like a part two to the interview unintentionally. Um, I just kind of wanted to do like a quick vlog to, you know, thank him and, you know, have it for my channel too because he was really, really cool. But we did an hour long uh, interview, but it was like a chit chat. It was a, <laughs> it was like a chit chat. I'm my loud mouth always getting me in trouble. Uh, no, he, I think I was a little scandalous, but I feel like I asked uh, my friend who was with me, I was like, did I say too much? Am I like, and he's like, not anything more than you say on your YouTube. So I was like, okay. Prez was extremely respectful and sweet and gave me so much insight and advice off camera and on camera. And as someone who is a former controversial, well, he's still very controversial, but as someone who is a former kind of troll and stuff and it kind of changed his ways, like I asked him so much about why he did it and how and, you know, did it affect his career? Like he gave me so much great advice for it and so many great advice for anyone else who, you know, is going that route. I don't know. It just was really inspiring. So um, that's going to be on my channel. But the, the, and we talked about our fight. We had a fight on Twitter before we even met up. And then um, a lot of the scandal and my big mouth get me in trouble. It's on his website. I will link that below um, if you guys want to check that out. But I was really scared um, to press had asked me to be on his podcast. And he's always said really nice things about my music videos. And I was always really scared of him because I thought, oh, he's going to trash me. He's going to ask me so many questions, like really basic questions. But he was just very nice polite, respectful. I mean, I feel like we definitely talk some stuff that is going to be a very um, controversial, I guess, to some, but you know, you know, well, as we talked about on there, we stay true to ourselves. And if you stay true to you and people find that offensive, then that's, you know, what, that's one thing. I mean, to purposely just try and be offensive and get a rise out of people is like not cool. But if it's your true thoughts, feelings, and who you are, fuck it. So that's on Press Hilton and Press. I love you so much. Like so sweet and so inspiring. Like truly, that's not even... I, I've said it. I said it to him, and I said it before. I'm like, he, you know, he he comes across one way, and it was just it, it was it was refreshing. And thank you for being uh, open minded and listening to me, because we also talk about shows that have rejected me, and interviewers who rejected me, and just getting judged and all that stuff. So he was great and very non-judgmental. We love Perez so much. Um, <clears throat> there was one other thing. Um, well, before I was gonna get to the main meat and potatoes of this, which is about my label section and my weight gain. I felt like I had one other thing. Chicken fingers and lipo merch is out on trishapetas.spreadshirt.com. I haven't gotten mine yet. <gasps> Actually, I have a package I have to go get. Oh my god, I want to be. <gasps> Better go get it. Um, that's out on the merch. And I feel like there was something else, and now I'm like not saying it. Okay, let's just get to the meat and potatoes of this. I love that phrase. <laughs> um, liposuction, making me fat. Everyone said I look fatter than I did before. First of all, there is no way I look fatter than before. I, I have jean shorts that I wore in the thick video that literally do not fit. There is no way that I am fatter than before. There's literally no way. If that jeans I wore on thick do not fit me that way anymore. That's just, it looks ridiculous if I try to wear those. So, number one. Secondly, I do get swollen. Now with liposuction, I am back to wearing my, um, 
what is that called? Like, it's like for tummy tucks, it's like a, gir a binder. It looks like a girdle. I'm back to wearing my girdle, basically, my Spanx at night, and that helps tremendously. I did it the night before my music video, because I think maybe it would help, because they say up to three to six months to a year, like you can, your, your life goes going up and down, and swelling and changing, and I swear to goodness, I wore that, and the next day, my stomach was flat as a bore, bitch, and a lot of people said your stomach was flat before, and now it's like really fat and gross. Well, because I stopped wearing the binder after six weeks, because this is six weeks, and you're healed, Bitch, no, I'm back to wearing that binder because, you know, it really does, it's, your body is still being trained on, like, that's still trying to survive and how it's going to shape. <laughs> so, um, liposuction did not make me fat, although everyone loves to say it, and <sighs> I tell you, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know how people deal with these comments. We talked about this on the press Clinton interview, like, he goes, hey, it doesn't bother me. I'm like, he's like, does it bother you? I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to lie, sometimes it does. Like, you go through so much shit, you diet, you get fucking liposuction and people are like, you still look fatter than before, you're just, and it's just like, it's just stupid, it's just frustrating, it's like frustrating dealing with stupidity and that's basically what it comes down to, but anyways, uh, I thought I would address that because so many people are uninformed or ill-informed and look, I'm not the cleanest eater, we all know this, I have issues, I just mentioned this on the podcast too, I, but I'm trying very, very hard, like I actually do eat do I just have a Jessie Smiles accent? Does anyone watch Jessie Smiles? There's no shade to her at all because I watch her and I love her. She literally, she literally has developed like these accents, like um, a really strong accent. And I'm like, where does this even come from? I'm like, oh my god, all of a sudden it's like a really strong accent. And I was like, what is this? <laughs> and like, I literally, I, I watch a lot of Jessie Smiles. So there's no shade, but like, oh my god, she really talks like this. And it's like, oh, okay, this is like really creepy. But I really looked into it, and I'm like, whoa, crazy. My accent changes too, so no shade, but I literally went into a Just a Smiles accent right there. Um, what else? I feel like there was a bunch of updates I had to talk to you guys about. Um, the live performance is a private event, obviously, it's my birthday party, and it's mostly just because uh, uh, <laughs> it's my like first like performance, and I wanted to test it out amongst people that I know and love and support me. And we are going to be filming it, so if it goes good, we'll put it online, and if it goes really good, there might be a really big announcement coming soon, so fingers crossed for that. Dance videos are coming back. SETI is out of town, so we have not been able to dance, which is very, very sad, but those are coming. The music video for Freaky, I saw it. It's amazing. I want to post it, but I got to be good because I did release my album early because I couldn't wait. I have to wait because I'm throwing a big premiere party for it, so um, that's coming, and yeah, I, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, sad is single. There's been rumors that I'm dating someone, I'm not, I'm single, and like completely single, like not even, like I'm going on a date, but I'm not dating, I don't want, I don't, I'll take some sex, but no date, I mean, I, I would like to, but I'm not, I'm not searching it, I'm not, some of you are very sweet and want to set me up with people, but I'm not dating, in my real life too, that goes for them. Um, and that's pretty much it, I love you guys so much, I kind of just want to talk to you guys real quick, um, because I had a good day. Oh, it was a good day. It was a weird day, but it was a good day. Not the press part. The press part was amazing. I loved it, but it was a weird day other than that. So, subscribe to my check out, check out channel, youtube.com slash social life. Check out Press Hilton, um, my interview with him, and uh, check out Chicken Fingers and Life up now on iTunes. And if you guys have any suggestions for videos you guys want to see, as always, please give them to me. I love just sitting here and talking and chatting with you guys, but I, I just want to see routine videos. I thought about doing that. I'm like, are those a thing anymore? Um, just other stuff you want to see, let me know, and uh, I'll do it. All right, guys, I love you. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Hopefully this whole thing wasn't out of focus. I've been having a hard time focusing my camera. I wanted to do the uh, noise canceling like earphone challenge. And I like I can't find my autofocus camera. So we're on this floor. Hopefully we're focused. Oh guys, I'll see you in my next video. Marcus is small boy. It's just mm -hmm. <laughs> bye guys.